testing of the solid state relay with prototype 1 of the terminal case. So we have the solid state relay right here. It's activated by trigger voltage at these two inputs and it connects the wire from here into there when activated. So we have two standard plugs, one male, one female. Our male one is connected to an extension cord that loops around this reel and into a male plug here, which we're going to connect soon to our power source. So that's that. And we have earth ground, the green wire right here and there, connected together and one connect to one of the aluminum walls here of the terminal case for safety reasons. Uh, that's pretty much it. We just have to put the lid on, power that on, double checking that the power supply is set in within the range of the uh, trigger voltage which it reads 3 to 32 volts. So if when this is turned on we'll have 5 volts. So that's within our trigger range. And all right, now we take the lid, close it up for safety. We double check the, the earth ground is good connection here. And we take the extension cord from before. Plug it in. And the red light here indicates that we are getting power into this terminal case with the solid steer relay. And when we trigger the uh, solid state relay, it's going to allow alternating current to flow through the two wires into the heat gun here when activated should turn on. So right now, of course, it doesn't turn on as it's not supposed to. The solid state relay is not activated. But then you take this. We have the input voltage, 5 volts, into the solid state relay. It should now activate and be providing power to the heat gun. That's success.